the first time actually that I heard about Denise. I was a bit skeptical, like it was not a bit, I was a lot skeptical uh, because a friend of mine told me about the Chilpreneur book. And at that point I was, uh, I think I was still a PhD student. It was before starting my business. And I was in this mentality of, oh, you need to have lots of struggle. You need to work hard in order to achieve things. And I was like, hmm? Chillpreneur doesn't sound so real. <laughs> but still, I was fascinated by the message. So it was, uh, I started to follow her. And then later on, like after many months of uh, years of following her, then I joined the boot camp. I mean, it was a gift to myself because I had done a kind of health journey, kind of weight loss journey, and I've been very good at it. <laughs> And I had so, and I had been following Denise uh, for a long time. So then I decided, uh, yeah, I mean, I've seen uh, the testimonials of other people, and uh, I know, I know because I'm an EFT practitioner. I'm a tapping practitioner myself, so I know that uh, this mindset work is so much needed. So I thought, okay, like let's join now and do this. And also because uh, I felt that while. Uh, kind of, I was uh, in control of some other parts of my life. Like, I don't know, I have a beautiful relationship with my uh, fiance back then, like now he's my husband, Look, or uh, like health is going well, but uh, money-wise, <laughs> there was a lot to work on. So I decided, okay, let's join it. It's a gift to myself and uh, it's an investment for the future. Before joining, it was uh, a lot of uh, kind of self uh, disbelief <laughs> so the money was coming in uh, kind of sporadically uh, in my business because uh, I was uh, like I was giving services like tapping uh, services but I was uh, I was a lot in this uh, imposter syndrome and like uh, I could get like in the process of getting clients I was uh, I was trying to believe in myself but then whenever I had clients I started to think, oh my God, this I should have done better. This uh, like is not good. So it's like kind of uh, energetically, it's like as if I rejected new clients. So I had a period of uh, like maybe two, three months in which I hadn't signed any clients before uh, joining the bootcamp. So the business now is uh, kind of uh, still, I'm working on uh, having more clients. And so I'm not in this place of uh, uh, kind of so much abundance, but I feel that uh, something is starting to shift inside of me in the sense that uh, I've been uh, believing in myself more. I've been uh, um, kind of aware that I, I deserve to, <laughs> I serve so I deserve, as uh, Denise says a lot. Uh, and uh, now also recently I made an investment in myself and in my business because uh, I so much believe that uh, um, I deserve and that uh, uh, I think kind of investing in ourselves sometimes is seen as uh, kind of bad or is seen as uh, kind of risky and uh, when for example your husband has a kind of um, a poor kind of poor mind mindset so it might also affect you and your choices so for example I felt before uh, joining the boot camp I felt also a bit uh, held back by maybe my husband uh, like once <laughs> like this or but I think like now I'm more in control of uh, my finances I feel more in control and uh, I feel that uh, kind of my business is kind of my is mine and I feel like more like uh, in control of uh, uh, and uh, allow myself to to be the owner of my business and not let all the other people's uh, kind of ideas um, to influence how I am in my business, how I show up. Yeah, uh, so uh, one of the things is that uh, a few days ago I was decluttering and I found, uh, I think it was 430 euros, <laughs> which was great because I wouldn't be decluttering if uh, Denise does, wouldn't stress so much uh, the importance of decluttering, but really we can find a lot of things. Uh, then uh, other, 
wins are also about uh, myself, like the um, kind of the things that I uncovered during the process. Uh, like one of the things that uh, made me choose this niche now is that uh, I found out how much the religion uh, influenced my money mindset. Mm. For example, that in the church, uh, they think uh, that uh, greed is uh, the origin of the, all the evil and uh, uh, those kind of things. So it really uh, like affected me in the sense it uh, it allowed me to to go deeper and to find uh, where those money blocks come from and to uh, let them go. I think the best thing for me about the money bootcamp is uh, the Facebook group so far. Also because I end all the exercises of the money bootcamp. <laughs> But uh, the, th the amazing thing about uh, the, like, the group is that uh, you feel accepted, you feel that you belong, and also that uh, it's inspiring to be around other people that already have, uh, by working on the boot camp and by hanging out with that kind of women, they have an upgraded money mindset. So already by being in that energy, it, it starts uh, to shift my energy as well because uh, I've been raised in a small town like with very like uh, conservative people like very Christian uh, mentality of uh, like hum like humility and stuff and uh, it's not so common for me to see examples of women that uh, brag about themselves <laughs> that feel great about making money so it's like being in that energy is very transformational. Um, and also like the acceptance, the because every time I come to the book camp, the book group, with a question, with a concern, with a win, like I know that I'm going to be accepted, that I'm going to be cheered on, that I'm going to be loved. So it's, uh, it's amazing. Uh, yeah, it's really great and uh, Denise is like I believe maybe I don't even <laughs> it doesn't even need explanations because uh, like already by listening to Jill and Prosper like you can understand how how great Denise is because uh, I think also as a tapping practitioner but I was still a bit resistant on working on money mindset and on uh, like tap on myself a lot but I think like the great thing about Denise is that she's totally transparent about her struggles, about uh, her way of thinking, and uh, so this uh, authenticity of hers, that uh, she doesn't hide anything, uh, and she encourage, encourages to tap and let go, is like, it's very strong, and it gives you, gives me the chance to really let go and to work on those things that usually I would be like, kind of a bit resistant on, uh, working on so it's uh, like if you like the chill and prosper vibe then money boot camp is like this but to the power of 10 so it's great so um i love chill and prosper both the book and the the audiobook uh, not the audiobook i love the chill and prosper podcast it's great mm -hmm. right uh but i think the thing is that it's different to be in that energy of the women because like you can read and you can think oh but those women like it's not me and like they're far away they are i don't know somewhere else but when you do the money boots camp and when you join the the monthly call you see that those women are not somewhere like very different than you they are on the same call with you they are working through their money mindset you see their comments you see their fears you see their uh, um vulnerability and you kind of uh, connect with them and you connect with Denise more like by being in this uh, common call so it's like being it in that energy feeling that the belonging uh, this is really transformational and uh, it uh, sparks something in you it uh, encourages you to do the same work and to get the same results than the other did I would say that uh, it's uh, it's something that you do for yourself to be immersed in that energy because I see for myself kind of I came from this very small town and people were a bit close-minded and I traveled the world because I live in Sweden and I have lived in Germany for one year I've lived in Japan for several months 
So I've traveled the world, but uh, one thing is to meet people kind of randomly. And another thing is to be in the energy of the people that you want to be like. So it's, uh, <laughs> it's very important to be surrounded by the people that you admire, that you want to be like, because, uh, and especially in the bootcamp community, uh, they, they share, uh, we share all about our fears, all about our struggles and our wins. So you feel that you are not alone in anything that you're facing and people will pour lots of love on you. <laughs> so you always feel that uh, you can do it, that you can take the next step because as Denise says, it's your time and you're ready for the next step. <laughs> we, the one in which... Uh, you go and I loved uh, the lesson in which you go back and uh, list uh, your mommy, money memories because this is what uh, made me understand about this uh, money block related to the Christian beliefs. So it was really, really deep. And uh, I love how then uh, once you do the, the exercises in the course and you have an aha moment, you can share it in the bootcamp and you get lots of love and lots of... Uh, encouragement to continue doing the work so yeah that uh, about the money memories it's uh, very important to work on the money mindset because uh, subconsciously we block ourselves from uh, achieving certain kind of things when we believe that uh, we are not uh, worthy of it so the beliefs are su something that go so deep for example uh, i was uh, remembering recently that uh, my grandma only once she said the uh, kind of swear word. She said shit, basically. And she got a chum, slap in her face. <laughs> and then, of course, for all her life, she didn't say any swear word because it was so dangerous for her. Like it was uh, risky for her to say the swear words. So there are some things that we have learned when we were uh, small, like money is dirty or like uh, money doesn't grow on trees these kind of things that making money is hard and that uh, rich people are greedy that uh, influence us subconsciously like that slap in, in the face of my grandma influence her for the rest of her life so i believe that uh, working on the money mindset has uh, helped me to be more uh, careful about the money like to be more uh, focused on the money because uh, especially as an eft practitioner as a tapping practitioner in kind of uh, belonging to this uh, kind of healing world, we feel that, oh, everyone should be healed. This, uh, to, cert to a certain level, we feel, oh, this should be for free. So, I mean, and it comes from a sense of uh, not worthiness, but also it can be kind of hidden by a sense of uh, caring about other people, which is true, but it comes from a deep sense of not deserving the money. So I've been... Uh, more careful after joining the boot camp and uh, um, focusing on the money like uh, checking more the money coming in and also being more uh, uh, kind of uh, how to say more um, clear that this is a business i'm here uh, okay i love to help people but also i'm here for like because i want to support myself with this so it's uh, Kind of it allowed myself to feel more comfortable also in uh, charging, charging well for my services. Uh, in the kind of healing industry, there is a lot of uh, kind of kindness. <laughs> and this comes with kind of a price in the sense that uh, we feel, oh, like everyone should be healed and this is so good, like it should be for free. And and uh, but while uh, it's good that you care about your clients, it's good that I cared about my clients. But uh, on the other side, there is, there is also this uh, money block behind it, which is this sense of uh, unworthiness of receiving. Uh, um, and I think this is the main one that I see in my industry, like this uh, charging little and uh, feeling bad to raise your prices. So, yeah, I think it's, uh, it's helping um to kind of to feel comfortable in charging because also i was seeing in especially there was a, a live of um, the call of denise regarding especially the pricing 
And I remember also one person was saying, uh, I am, it's safe for me to charge just because I'm listening or something like that. And I'm, and I'm thinking, yeah, it makes sense because like how often do we sit in front of someone who really, really listens to, to us? And so it started to ingrain also in me that, okay, I do something for them. I, uh, I deserve to be charged. So I'm pregnant. <laughs> so... <laughs> So now my goal is to make uh, a more consistent income in my business to reach uh, ten thousand dollars a month before uh, going to maternity leave so that I know that when I come back I come back to a business that is working and this would uh, make me feel so much more uh, in control and safe. If you're looking for expert training on money mindset a supportive community and mentoring to work on your money stories, I invite you to come work with us in Money Bootcamp. Our community is growing every day. And when empowered people come together and take control of our financial destiny, we really can change lives. Come and join us on this journey. Just click below, take a deep breath and enroll in Money Bootcamp today. You'll get our amazing money mindset training, ongoing mentoring, and access to our beautiful, inspiring community. So then you can have the encouragement and accountability to make a breakthrough with your money. And you'll get support from all of our experienced mentors and live group coaching calls with me every single month. We will be with you every step of the way to help you create more abundance with less stress. So click below, take a deep breath, and just hit join on your registration. Make this investment in your dreams and get started now. So you can release your money blocks, increase your income, and surround yourself with amazing people invested in your success. I'll see you in Money Bootcamp. It's your time and you're ready for the next step.